Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm reviewing the Easy Longer ES960 LifePo 4 battery in it. We're going to unbox it, I'm going to test it, and then we're going to give you run times at the end with my CPAP machine and see how long this thing actually works. So in this video, we're going to see the features and see how it's we actually going to set it up with a C, CPAP machine. All right, so let's see what we have. Manual, that's always very good. Cables, three, four, okay. Looks like a cord right there for the charger. Let me set that to the side. Charger, right there. Yeah, so charger goes over here. That's all that was in there. And cords. Looks like they go connectors for different CPAP machines. And they're also labeled for the different types right there. And okay, upright. Okay, that's a mini, and it looks like a another charging cord. Okay, so we'll set it over there with the charger. So one, two, three, four connectors for your CPAP machine. And we have a case right here. And it's in there pretty good, I like that. And it's kind of heavy to get out. Which is good, right? We want a machine that's going to be stable and sturdy. Okay, I've pulled it out of the box. It did have another a manual in it. So what I had at first was just a short, quick guide to connect. And remember, this device is DC. So you'll have to use devices that... Your CPAP machine will run DC. It'll also run quite a few other items, it looks like to me. And it has the wireless charging on top. I like that. I think this one is a 10-watt charger. All right, so let's see what we have. Digital LCD readout. I haven't turned it on yet. Haven't charged it up. I haven't done anything yet. Let's see what we have over here. I'm going to make sure you can see these real well. So I'll move them over here. So here you have your DC in and your USB-C in and out, which you can use to charge. Let's go ahead and open it up. Right there. Okay, good. Here you see USB 2, USB 1, and DC out. Go ahead and open those up. Okay. Then you have your standard cigarette lighters. 12 volt, 15 amps. And 12 volt, 15 amps. And they both say out. Okay, so can't charge through those. You'll have to use your USB-C to charge. Or the... Uh, connector charger they sent. You can also charge this by solar. But first, things first, I wanted you to see how this was set up. Very well made though, I have to say. It's very sturdy. Very strong. Here it says the capacity out. I'm just pushing buttons. I haven't read anything yet. You're seeing it as I do. Sure, there's a way to, oh, there it is, way to change voltage. That's 12 volt, 16.5, 20, and 24 volt. So if I leave it, will it stay 24 volt, or will it go back to 12? Um, looks like it will stay 24 volt. That's going to be important. Because when you do your CPAP machine or anything else you're charging, you'll want to make sure this has the correct voltage. 
I also noticed it says it will do uh, car refrigerators, vacuum cleaners, air pumps, and about any other device you can run from inside your car. Laptops, tablets, cell phones, all that type of stuff. So we're going to charge a few of those up and take a look and see how well we can actually do it. Just remember, make sure you do the suitable voltage. And I'll show you on my CPAP machine how to check the voltage if you're not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and get this set up. And when we're finished, I'll tell you, I'm going to use it and tell you the run, run times. Okay, folks, so I have charged my Easy Longer ES960 all the way up. And going through all the information, amazing the camera has it numbers jumping like that. In the real world, they don't do that. Okay, so as I said, sturdy built. It's got a nice handle. I like that. It's pretty heavy. Heavy with things like batteries is normally pretty good, and I like that. So we're going to do some testing. This is specifically made, by the way, even though it will charge up many things, it is specifically made to, for CPAP machines. So you can have a CPAP machine working when the power goes out. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. I am going to use my CPAP machine. And let me show you. It is a ResMed. That's what I'm going to call it. ResMed, because that's what it looks like. And it is a AirSense 10. Okay. Probably the most common model there is out there. As you recall, it came with many cords. This one right here is for this Pacific One ResMed AirSense 10. So we're going to be using this cord that is supposed to be with this CPAP machine and this device. I also told you I would tell you about the voltage. Remember, it has to have the correct voltage to work. This one happens to be a 24 volt. So we want our device here, our Easy Longer CPAP backup to be 24 volt, which it is. You recall just a little bit ago, I walked you through how to change the voltage. Want to make sure it's right. Now you can use the manual or you can use the cord that comes with this, which I'm going to show you right here. Cord. I set it right there. And you can see that it's 90 watts. And down here you can see, hopefully, DC output, 24 volts. Okay, so that's how you can find on your own machine, your own CPAP machine, what voltage. If you don't use the correct voltage, it is not going to work. So let's just clear that up at the moment. Okay, so let's show you how to do this. I have my machine set up right here. As you can see, it's all put together, but no power. No power cord, no power at all. Just hooked up the way it's supposed to be and the mask. So we're going to take our Easy Longer. And once again, you can see it says 24 volts and it is fully charged. Okay, so we're going to pick it up. We're going to go to DC out. DC out. Right there. Good. Going to be using that connector. Take the cord that came with came with our battery backup, and we're going to plug that in. There it is. It is plugged in. Should be plugged in pretty well. Okay, good. Now we're going to come over to our CPAP machine, and where you would normally plug in the power cord, we are going to plug in the other side of the power cord that came with our device. And that is now plugged in. And as you can see, hopefully, it just came on. It is now being powered by nothing but this battery backup right here. Push the button. And it has started. It will begin its sleep cycle right now. So that's how easy it is to make this work. Really simple. Now, I want to point out a few things. 
what you can do with it. Besides using it directly like this, you can also, by the way, plug it into the wall and then through the wall power, through this device, into your CPAP machine. So if you're sleeping with your regular house power and the power goes out, this will automatically kick in. So whoever the patient is getting the oxygen therapy can continue to sleep peacefully with no problem. Uh, and of course, you can use it when you're out camping, power outages. And I also told you I would tell you run times. I tested it myself. With everything left on, I didn't turn anything off, such as the humidifier or the tube heater, with everything turned on, and it ran right about eight hours, which is pretty good. Then I turned off the humidifier and the tube heater. And if you do that, you can run it, and I did, for four days. The last day was about seven, seven and a half hours. Those are the run times I found as I was using this machine. So there you are. That's how you set your Easy Longer 960 up with your CPAP machine. And whatever machine you have, and use the cord that comes with this, and it will be just as easy. Okay, besides doing it like this, let's go ahead and turn this off. We don't need to be running it anymore. I want to show you, you can also power it with a cigarette adapter. You plug it into the 12 volt. Let's turn this around so you can see. 12 volt cigarette adapter. Plug it into your machine. And as you can see, it comes on. And there it goes. Just as easy as we did with the cord that actually came with our battery backup. Very cool. I think this works extremely well. I like it. Let's always point out, I am not being paid to do this video. No one gave me any money. So, it will charge, as we said earlier, for our little roundup here, a lot of different devices you may use when you're out camping or just when there's a power outage. But remember, this is only DC. If you want to run AC, you can, but you'll have to attach an inverter to it. It also has a very nice 10 watt wireless battery charger right there. Okay, if you have any questions about this, please put it down in the comments and I'll answer as many of them as I can get to. Like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell if you like these, and share this with someone you think may have a need for this or may just enjoy the video. Shoestring out.